Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bosch. The number of clean diesel models in North America will double by 2014. Bosch Clean Diesel. Good. Clean. Fun. Bridgestone. Your journey. Our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems. Improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. Welcome to AutoLine Daily. I'm John McElroy, and man, there sure is a lot happening in the automotive industry today. And we start out with yet another disaster in the electric car market. Azure Dynamics, which was converting Ford Transit Connects into electric vehicles, just filed for bankruptcy. Azure needed Ford to sell around 3,000 of the electric Transit Connects to make its business plan work, the Wall Street Journal reports. But Ford only sold 800 of them in both the U.S. and Europe. You know, I thought we'd see a big shakeout in the EV market starting sometime around 2014, but it sure looks like 2012 will be the year of reckoning. Meanwhile, in Japan, the Associated Press reports that electric cars could lose the green cachet that they enjoyed before the giant tsunami triggered a nuclear crisis in the country. If Japan remains committed to nuclear power, says one Japanese expert, and I quote, then the green image of the car will be bashed to bits. The Ford Transit van is the big brother to the Transit Connect, and it will replace the ancient Econoline in North America. Boy, it's about time. The Econoline tooling was probably paid for when Jimmy Carter was president. But here's the latest news. The Transit will have Ford's proven 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, but it will also get a diesel. Ford offers a 3.2 liter inline 5 elsewhere in the world, and we bet this is the oil burner that they're talking about. Ford says we can expect a 25% boost in fuel economy thanks to the diesel and the fact that the Transit is about 300 pounds lighter than the outgoing E-Series. In a move that could save General Motors $400 million a year, it's forcing two of its ad agencies to form a joint venture to handle all Chevrolet advertising around the world. Goodby, Silverstein and Partners, which is based in San Francisco, and McCann Erickson, which is based in New York, will form a joint venture called Commonwealth, which will be based in Detroit. So how can that possibly save so much money? Because right now, Chevy uses 70, you heard me right, seven zero different agencies around the world to handle all that business. Wow, big news here for Jeep enthusiasts. Working with Mopar, the brand just unveiled six different models at the annual Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, Utah. First up, the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk concept. This vehicle features a number of upgrades, including new 18-inch wheels and tires, as well as rock rails to protect the lower body from damage. Next up, the Wrangler Apache. This mud slinger features a 6.4-liter V8 with an estimated 470 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. <laughs> that ought to move you down the trail. Looking in the rear view mirror, the mighty FC concept takes inspiration from the Jeep forward control model built in the 50s and 1960s. It features a laundry list of off-road upgrades from coilover springs to beadlock wheels. Like its predecessor, the cab of this flat-faced truck sits right on top of the front axle. The J12 concept is a stretched version of the JK8. It's about 18 inches longer than the Wrangler pickup that it's based on. This gives drivers a full six-foot bed to play with. Rounding out the list are two special Wrangler models. One has been blasted with more than 250 Mopar accessories, including a few prototype parts. The other one is called the Trail Dozer, which, like the Apache concept I just mentioned, is also powered by a big ol' Hemi. This machine is an off-road monster with all kinds of skid plates, bumper bars, and suspension upgrades. Many new vehicles have visual or audible systems to warn drivers if they're about to get in a crash, but the new Cadillac XTS will have its own unique way to warn drivers. The XTS will be the first car available with a driver's seat that vibrates if a crash is imminent. 
called the Cadillac Safety Alert Seat. It'll be offered in a package with other safety features. The left or right side of the seat will vibrate depending where the collision will take place or both sides will pulse if it's from the front or rear. It can also be used to help park the car as well. GM first developed the seat about a decade ago as part of its V to V technology. Coming up next we have the aha moment where we'll be talking about how Chrysler is using a very unique process to bring new talent into the company. Dow Automotive Systems, driving solutions in automotive, commercial transportation, and aftermarket with innovative products like Betamate structural adhesives. Lighter, stronger, safer. DowBetamate.com. Earlier this week, I sat down with Lori Macadino, the Vice President of Corporate Audit and Compliance for Chrysler. She reports directly to Chrysler CEO Sergio Marchioni. I asked her to give me one of those moments, those aha moments, that really helped her in her career and to talk about a new program within Chrysler to recruit new talent to the company and to train those people for a quick career path to upper management. I want to thank the Automotive Next program at Inforum for helping to arrange this interview and to Chrysler for sponsoring it. Let's go to that interview right now. Lori, tell me about the aha moment in your career where things really clicked for you and what ultimately brought you into the automotive industry. Okay. Well, I started out in public accounting and um, had a number of clients and our, our product as a company was our audit opinion that we expressed on the financial statements. So you're talking about all you do is produce a big sheath of numbers. Right, right. Uh, when I had the opportunity to go to the automotive industry, uh, that, that changed because I felt connected to a product. Uh, there was a whole lot of people that built and engineered that product. I wasn't personally involved in that, but I was part of the team that ended up with, with a product that I could be proud of, connected with. My family understood. They didn't understand what I did before, but my advice to somebody would be to find something that you're emotionally connected with that helps you to really feel passionate about what you do because that helps um, for people to see, you know, the, the passion in you. It's, it's visible. So instead of having some sort of abstract product that the company you work for produces, you loved having something tangible like an automobile. Right. So you would advise others to look for that in their career. Exactly. And I understand that you're also involved with Chrysler's leadership development. Tell us a little bit about that program of how you recruit people from outside the automotive industry mm -hmm. to come into it. Uh, the leadership development program is a fairly new program. It's only a little over two years old. Uh, but the concept behind it is to bring talented folks into the company. We look for people with about five to seven years of experience with master's degrees and some proven success that really fit within the culture of the company. As we bring them in, we have them work on audit projects that cover all aspects of the company. So they're exposed to every major aspect of the company and to the processes that are really critical to the, uh, the future of the company. That's, those are the ones we, just, we naturally focus on. So that's got to be great for their careers to see an overview of different aspects of the corporation. It's great for their careers for a number of reasons. One, uh, they get to see coming in the whole company. Uh, two, we invest quite a bit in leadership development. Um, three, as we're bringing people in, we're bringing from all different disciplines. We bring in engineers, purchasing people, manufacturing people, as well as accountants. And but they all they're, get but they're a, doing audits, even though they're these different disciplines. They're doing audits, and they, they're exposed to working on a team together, so they're all learning from each other at the same time. And for example, somebody who might be an engineer that's going to spend most of their profession working in the engineering organization gets a chance to work with all different disciplines and really understand the impact that they have on the rest of the company as they return to their career in engineering. That's got to be a great way of recruiting people into Chrysler. How's it going? It's going very well. I think we've brought in some talented folks that have really surprised me. Um, they're, they're very um, energized, um, talented people that I, I think because of the program we've been able to attract them. Well, Lori, thanks so much for sharing that aha moment and what you're doing at Chrysler. Thank you, Jen. That aha moment is brought to you by Chrysler Group, LLC. For career opportunities, please visit www.chryslercareers.com.